Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Super Robot Wars J. I know it's been kind of a long while, but I'll be uploading... I just know it's been a kind of a while since the last episode. Just been a bit busy. But it looks like we're getting the Zoroma back, so hooray! I just, huh? Does the Zoromer have HP regen? I know it has energy regeneration. No, it does have HP regen. So yeah, that makes sense. Well then. Well, this is happening. Oh yeah, Kira died last episode. It was pretty sad. We lost a strike too. So that sucks. So, as of this uh, recording, I've actually recorded a bunch of stages in advance. I think I'm on stage 45, if I remember correctly. Around there, yeah, yeah, I recorded up to stage 45, and I've recorded the beginning part of 46 as of this point. So, in terms of um, recording the raw footage, I'm actually very close to the end of the game at this point. And what happens is that uh, as the game gets further, as you get further in the game from here, pretty much a lot of the moops now have higher stats, and that's pretty much it for the most part. There, there, you know, there's some enemy variety, but for the most part. You can pretty much, you'll, you'll be fine. If you've been doing the strategy that I've been doing so far, which is use map attacks when you can, and use combo attacks when you can. There really is no real variation from this point on. It, it, it becomes more, well that's not entirely true, there are stages that mix it up a little bit. But in terms of the enemies themselves, they're kinda the same as they've always been. I think they're taking D-Boy away now? Oh no wait. No wait, no, wait. do we get D-Boy? No, no he's staying, right? I don't remember. It's been a while since, you know, I, I've actually seen the last episode, so I'm not entirely too sure where we are right now. What's wrong with D boy? Is 
So they're just gonna ignore the red am the red am trees, huh? We don't know exactly what will happen when they bloom, but uh, I can only assume that the uh, it's not gonna be anything good. So yeah, for the upcoming stage, we'll only have the, the, the Nadesco, and I don't think we'll have access to any of the Gundam Seed units, unfortunately. But that's just how it is. You know what, now I remember where we are. I think, so yeah, we won't have access to D-Boy for a little bit. If we have access to him in this stage, then I'm fairly certain we'll lose him during the next. Or something like that, anyway. Here we go. So we're stuck in here. Whoa. Oh, okay. Nothing but run. So this is going, just going to explain everything now. on cannon and then only you can do that as Akito Well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. 
They really don't like Earthlings, huh? We're gonna beat you up, that's what. So yeah, this scene. So So essentially arm slaves were never meant for space combat. And he talked and Uriba Take talks about making a new secret weapon, you know, an arm slave made for space combat. And I thought it was a separate unit from the the uh what is it? From Sosuke's normal unit, the Ace. Nice, Ace. The, uh. I don't remember. But, uh. I, I thought it was a whole unit entirely when I first played the game, but it's not. It's just. It's just the their, uh. explanation for as, as to why. You can use the arm slaves in space in this game because they weren't meant for space combat, and um, I don't think I don't think there are any arm slaves made for space combat during the Full Metal Panic series, if I remember correctly. I've never seen it, but from what I've seen, so to speak, they're not they're you, you you'll never see arm slaves in space. In, in other Super Bowl Wars games. In Z, in Z3, I don't think you ever see enemy arm slaves in, in space. But anyway, th it's just a justification for why uh, the arm slaves can be used in space in this game. But that, that dialogue has no meaning otherwise. Here we go. But yeah, strategy here is pretty much just go at him. The stage isn't difficult at all. Well, we missed. But yeah. Because I'm, um, you know, skipping through a majority of the, of the, of the battle that's going on, the, these stages are actually very long, or can take a long time to, com to complete. So, <laughs> be, don't be thankful, but if, if you're playing this game along with me, it's going to take you, a, you're going to be surprised at how long these stages can get. I mean, I have fun playing through them. So, that's me. That's just me, though. No, I actually, I have fun playing through these stages despite how long they are. Is what I wanted to say. Realized that I wasn't exactly clear. And that's one of the things I really need to work on in terms of speaking. Although, I like to think that I've gotten a lot better at commentating since I first started. And I've really enjoyed um, actually making this game, making this playthrough in particular, mainly because, well, I suppose I get more in depth on this or near the end of the game when that's more appropriate for that this kind of talk. But there we go. Oh no, we're getting attacked by enemy Tekkermen. See you later. Dun 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 dun. I did that wrong. 
but uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, axe. Okay, there's a particular scene I want to talk about soon. But, um, oh yeah, I'm not sure if I mentioned it already, but make sure you kill Tekkenman Axe with Tekkenman Blade. I don't believe you have to do it. You have to, um, defeat Tekkenman, what is it, Sword with Tekkenman Blade, but you might as well do it anyway. But remember, Tekkenman Axe is the size of a person, so a lot smaller than, it's a lot smaller than the Granteed. You know, I kind of want to see uh, the Tekkenman series come back in Super Robot Wars. It'd be kind of interesting to see what they would look like in um, HD, I suppose. And there's our barrier at work. Can't even do anything. There he goes. Not nah. okay. Here comes. So I find that scene very nice. I guess you could call it because, despite him still being an evil Taka man of sorts. He still cared for, uh, Blade here. And, I guess it was just the fact that he was, um, I don't know what you call it, semi-mind control that he couldn't really, you know, help Blade, you know, by switching sides. But he still cared for him in a sense. Like, his, his old mind wasn't completely erased I should say and instead of feeling angry at his defeat he felt proud of uh, Takayo or Tekken and Blade oh yeah we did find this person didn't we earthling tramp huh boss doing Forget. I think after this stage, we're gonna have a route split again. Oh yeah. Oh no, D boy. <laughs> I forgot he freaking collapsed. Well, well, what's gonna happen to D boy? Well, actually, I'm wrong about the route. The route split. It's not for a while. I think. I don't remember, okay? Uh, it's been so long. I'm sure you guys haven't noticed it, but uh, there was actually like, uh, for the commentary recording of this video, there was like a weak gap in between uh, a certain section of this video. So uh, there's that. But yeah, let's uh, let's go persuade 
the Ender goes top rank so we can have peace with the Joviums. What? 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 No, I'm actually going to confirm something. As I said before, I, I, I've record. I'm, I'm way ahead in terms of recording. Okay, no, there is a route split next. Yeah, I remember now. There's a one stage route split, and you gotta choose the uh, choose to go to Alaska. Was it? Yeah, choose to go to Alaska. The reason you want to do this is because that's the pretty much the last secret you'll need to get. Oh no, there's more. There's more. I'm thinking of uh, the next route split. So, yeah. We have one more route split. Not one more route split. The, the next route split is only for one stage only. But make sure you go to Alaska. If you've been following my videos, then you want to go to Alaska. I want to weird having my voice there. Yep, let's head to Alaska. It seems G, G Gundam goes with you whichever route you take, so that's nice. Amea Amlet. Oh yeah, Kira did die, didn't he? I feel like I said this already. I probably said it earlier this episode, but there was a weak gap. <laughs> well, let's go... What's he gonna tell us now? Oh. Came all this way just to be separated. Hmm. I wonder how they're going to heal a D boy. Catherine's leaving the battlefield for a bit. What? Kira? You're supposed to be dead. I'm sure that was a surprise to no one. Well, to anybody that watched Seed anyway. Uh, well, that's it for this episode, so I hope to see you guys again next time, whenever that is. Bye!